Hey y'all, it's Gypsy. I'm doing this video on my uh, Kindle Fire, and so I'm noticing it looks a little different from my computer. Anyway, I wanted to post a quick video to let you guys know about this really awesome series that um, that Owl Moon 513 has started on her channel, um, and it is a solitary deck challenge uh, where you work with the deck um, for the entire month, and you really kind of focus. The focus is on yourself. Um, you know, she mentions that, you know, a lot of readers, you know, read for other people, but I know for me anyway, I lose track of, um, you know, I don't really read, I haven't been reading for myself much. I, it's like I use all my energy reading for other people, and I haven't really been turning those cards on myself. And it's something that I really kind of have been thinking about doing, and then when she started the series, it was like, yes, I'm definitely going to do it. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys what deck I had picked. If you're interested in doing the deck challenge, I would highly encourage you to do it. If you're learning tarot or, or using oracle cards, um, if you read for other people and would kind of like get into the habit of reading for yourself, um, it's just really inspiring. It's kind of that New Year's energy, you know, let's, let's tackle a new project. Um, I have actually been doing daily draws, which is something that if you follow my Facebook, you'll know I can't seem to do for the life of me. Uh, still not committed to doing it you know, outside of myself, I'm kind of going with her flow and focusing on myself right now. Um, my Etsy shop is closed for the moment. Um, I'm not really trying to do readings on the outside because I'm working very hard on um, my own studies right now. Uh, but anyway, the deck I'm going to use for this month of January is my Enchanted Map Oracle deck. This is one of my absolute favorite Oracle decks, I'm really more of a tarot person. Um, and I, I have a lot of oracle decks that I have accumulated, and I just, I really hardly use them at all. I really collect them for the artwork more so than the actual function. Uh, but this deck is one of those that I love for the artwork and for the function. Absolutely love, love, love this deck. In fact, I recently bought the book, The Map, that, um, you know, that I kind of guess kind of goes with this deck. But not really. It's not a guidebook for the deck. It's a book in itself. You don't have to have the deck. But I guess the deck is inspired by the book, you could say. Um, anyway, so that is the deck that I'm using. Um, I guess I can show you the cards real quick. It's got a pretty decent little guidebook, uh, very adequate. She does upright and reversal readings, and the images um, are, are just absolutely beautiful. And I know this isn't the best quality, um, but if you're, you know, I mean, you can Google the images and get a much better look at them. But um, Colette Baron Reed's decks just have this awesome, it's one of my favorites in the deck, this awesome, um, you know, look to them. It's like they're, they're paintings, but they're also like computer sort of generated, I suppose you could say. And they just, they just have a really unique look, and I just, a visual treat. So that is why I picked this deck, also just because I, I've been working on this tarot series for so long that I kind of want to break from tarot for just, just a little bit. I just want to kind of do something different. And then, of course, I have my journal, and this is my little journal. It is one that I have kind of repurposed. I took some, it doesn't have all of its sheets in it anymore, uh, but here is what the journal looks like. You know, I always have to put my, my logo on it. And then, um, you know, here I put a quote. Um, I always like to put some kind of quote in the beginning of my journals. I don't know why, um, but this is uh, the first lyrics, the first stanza, I guess, of Gypsy by Stevie Nicks, because I love that song so much. Um, and then we go into the deck challenge. Now, I just started it on Sunday, and so to kick off the week, I did a six-card um, reading from the guidebook that I had gotten out of here, um, and went ahead and did like a big one to give myself kind of an overview of what I have going on. And so you can see here I wrote the spread down, and then I also wrote down like what each position means, and I, this is how I laid it out. I did not read reversals in this particular spread because I mean, that's why I laid them out in a circle like this. I didn't want that to be relevant. I just went with the regular meanings of them, um, you know, but with these, it's kind of an intuitive thing. It's kind of like with tarot. I don't like nailing myself down to either upright or reversal. I, I consider both meanings regardless of how the card falls. You know, it depends on the position and kind of how I feel about that card. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that structured. I just can't stand it. Um, and then each page had um, like the header. I'm not going to get too close. I don't want you reading my stuff. But um, I put here number one, and then I wrote what the card was, and then I wrote about the card. And um, I did that for all six of them. So, like, each card had its own page in my journal. And I know I didn't write a lot, but, guys, my time is really short. I felt like, God, Al Moon wrote a lot more in her journal.
but I have um, more children <laughs> than she does. I have more kids. Um, but no, she's, she's just, she may write really fast. I kind of take a while to write because I'm so persnickety about my handwriting. Uh, but then for the rest of the week this week, I have done daily draws. And so, again, I just write daily draw at the top so I know it's just the one card. And then I write the number of the card and then what the title of it was. And then, sorry, I just put on makeup and I feel like the little brush hairs are still on my face. Um, and then here, you know, you can see that I, I wrote it in and I gave each, you know, each card kind of gets, you know, a page if I need it. Um, and then I also, I date it up here in the corner so that later if I'm looking for a certain date, I don't have to open it all the way. I can just kind of, you know, look at the corner. So I always write the date kind of in this upper corner so that I can kind of flip through, you know what I mean, and like find the dates easy. So there's that. That's what I'm doing for the Solitary Deck Challenge. If you haven't seen it already, pop over to her channel and go check it out. Blessed be y'all.